Hello, I'm Paul Kirchman. I'm an historic food creator. Um, today, I'm going to be cooking piccalilli, but it's not like any piccalilli that you normally know. We've been lucky enough to be given um, a cookery book from the 1830s. So we'll be cooking 1830s piccalilli today. We're in the Regency Townhouse, so if you look um, behind me, we've got this wonderful dresser that's just been restored. So I'm very lucky to be um, using that today, or using it as a, as a background. Um, what I'm going to be doing, using um, a recipe from 1830, first stages are the garlic and the ginger, which I've got here. Um, what I'll do is slice them up, both of them. cover them with salt and then we're going to leave them for about 24 hours. Um, the original recipe actually says a week to nine days but it just isn't necessary. So they're going to be salted. Um, the salt draws away the, the liquid, it draws away the water that's in both ginger and in um, garlic um, which means that um, the pickle that they're put into or the, um, the vinegar which is here um, it doesn't reduce in strength. So when you're making pickles, what you're trying to do is get out all the water you can out of all the ingredients that you put into pickle so that the pickle can do its job. Okay, so that's the salt and garlic done. Um, I'm going to go on to the veg now. We've got, um, from the market fresh this morning, we've got green beans, which are great. Um, in the original recipe, it says, and I, and I, and I read this, um, get a, um, a small cabbage the size of a large turnip, which I've managed to get this morning at the open market in Brighton. So that's the white cabbage, we've got cauliflower, and I'm also going to put in some peaches which are really in season now, so they're great to have. So all this is going to be chopped up um, and covered with salt again. That's the whole process that I did with the garlic and with the ginger, I'm going to do with the veg. So I've just put all the veg to bed in a way. Um, I've covered them, they're over there. I've covered them with a cloth. And while they're, it's gonna be 24 hours, while they're doing their, their magic under there, I'm gonna read a bit out from the book. Take some small cabbages the size of large turnips, cauliflower, cut them into pieces. As they grow, take French beans, cucumbers, onions, apples, pears, plums, peaches, apricots, nectarines, etc. The best time to gather them is in the latter end of May or beginning of June, as they must be very young. Lay all in large dishes, cover them with salt, and let them remain for three days. Then take them out and lay them on cloths on the bottom of a large cloves basket. Dry them in the sun, three days or four, but do not let them be wet, and take them in every night. So those are really drying nicely outside. What we've got to do now is sterilise the jars. Really important this stage. Um, they need to go in the oven at 100 um, for 15 minutes, just to sterilise them, to make sure nothing um, nasty gets into the pickle at the end. All right, after about eight hours, that veg should be ready. I'm going to go and get it. So I've just brought these all in from outside. They're nice and dry. I'll pop those down there. Um, what I'm going to do is put these in vinegar. I've got the vinegar here, and I'm going to spice the vinegar up. Lots of spices. I've got some pepper, which everybody knows. What everybody doesn't know is long pepper, which we don't really use anymore. Really interesting spice to use, very 18th century. So I've got Jamaican pepper, or as we now call it, allspice. I've got some turmeric. Um, and mustard powder. And what's not in the recipe, what I really like to use is cornflour, because cornflour gives it that nice pasty consistency that um, piccalilli has now. Um, I've made it without and it's a bit, it's a bit strange, so I've added it this time as well. So all that goes together and then we get a lovely sort of yellowy sauce from that. So the vinegar is a mixture of two vinegars, it's white wine vinegar and it's cider vinegar, about half, half and half. 
um, to that, I'm going to add peppercorns and I'm going to add uh, long pepper. Um, I'm going to infuse the vinegar by heating it up very slowly, infusing all those lovely spices into it. And then, as a paste, I'm going to add these other powdered spices to it and, and to make the sauce nice and thick and, and, um, and creamy. So these jars have been nicely sterilised. They're all ready for the pickle. Have a quick look at that. Gorgeous. That's going to go into the, these jars now here. So. There we go. So all the wonderful veg I got this morning at the market has been chopped, it's been uh, salted and dried, and put into vinegar, into these wonderful spices. Um, these pickles would have been used to enhance quite bland food they had in the Regency period. So just a bit of history. Um, so they wouldn't have had glass jars back in the period um, about 1830s when this house was um, first built and first lived in. They would have had little jars like this. Um, and they wouldn't have had lids like this. These would have been sealed with leather on the top. And also I've got stories of paraffin. So they used these paraffin as well to stop other jars. What I'm going to do now is pop lids on this. They need to be stored away for about four weeks for the flavours to really develop. Um, and I know just the place in the house where to store them. Mm -hmm. 